this is Anne from Naomi's Home Health. If we haven't met yet, if you don't know who I am, I am a natural health coach who helps you reduce symptoms. I specialize in thyroid and autoimmune disease healing, but I also help people gain healthier lifestyles and long-term well-being by um, creating new habits. So, do you rest without guilt? This so this morning I did a, a video on my story of you know how I was so sick and I've healed myself and now I'm helping others do the same. Basically, one of the things that I did not do for a very long time while I was really unwell is resting without guilt. I didn't even rest, like didn't even rest at all. I was sleeping two hours a night for a couple of years and I'd get up, you know, go and do everything for the kids, make sure the house was tidy. So I told you earlier this morning that I was a nutcase. <laughs> made sure the house was tidy, made sure... A cooked meal was on the table every single night. There was no like, you know, toast for dinner or anything like that. It's like a meal and um, beds made, kids' rooms are tidy. I was struggling big time. Drop it in the comments if you rest without guilt. And I'm not talking just sitting scrolling through Facebook. That's not rest. We want to rest the mind, rest the body. So looking back now, I should have you know, in the afternoon, you know, 3.30, 4 o'clock if I wasn't working, so I was still, I was working in childcare as a preschool teacher, I should have been going um, and having that rest on the weekend or when I got home from work, sit down for a minute, not walk straight in and go, right, you know, I know we all have things to do, but allowing people to help you is a big thing too. Like my mum would often help, I'm like, no, no, I'm fine, or... Um, you know, getting more people to help me would have been beneficial as well. But I never rested without feeling like I was being lazy or I shouldn't be doing that or I should be doing something else. My mind was always going elsewhere. So what I have done recent, like in the last few years, if I'm not feeling well for whatever reason, I might, you know, you feel like you're getting the flu or you've had a big week and you've worked and, you know, really really hard and then you've taken the kids here and there and sometimes you're just like oh my god I need to chill so I actually do that I've sit down now and maybe read a book or I just go and lay down and close my eyes you don't even have to sleep but resting is the most is the most restorative thing that you can do if you can fall asleep that's even better particularly if you're not sleeping so I used to have the mindset oh I'm not sleeping at night so if I if I sleep in the afternoon I won't sleep tonight and I wasn't sleeping anyway so I should have changed that mindset of I'll get the rest whenever I bloody can because I'm not sleeping at night that should have been my mindset instead of you know I have to do this and I have to do that and it's lazy if I'm resting and I'm not going to sleep tonight if I rest or sleep now you probably will if your body's that tired and you are unwell you will sleep that night it doesn't matter if you fall asleep a bit later your body will be like, you're training it to chill out. You're training it to rest. You're training it to restore. Sleep is the most restorative thing that you can do. And it's the most productive thing that you can do for your healing, for your health. So go and do it. Don't feel guilty. Don't feel bad. Drop it in the comments if it makes sense to you. Because the amount of clients that I have that say they don't have time to rest... They've got time to watch Netflix or they've got time to do things that are so unimportant to our life. We don't need the thousands of things that go on in our life. We don't need to do a lot of the things that we're doing. Ask, you know, if the kids have to go to soccer training, ask somebody to pick them up and take them because you're not feeling well. It's not always your responsibility. It is your responsibility, but there are other people who help you and you can help them at a, at a later date. Things, it's an exchange, an energy exchange. Go and try and do those things because when you, even when I was really sick, just with the flu or something, and I'd call in sick for work, which I hate doing, and I'd be like, oh my God, this is, I'd feel racked with guilt that I'd called in sick for work, and then I'd be doing stuff around the house. I'm like, I could have been at work. I'd probably be infecting people, but you know what I mean? It was silly of me to not just go right I'm not working today I'm going to let my body fight whatever it is it's it's coming on same as if you have an autoimmune disease 
Same if you have cancer, if you're having treatment of any kind, let your body use the treatment and work with it and rest. Because if you're going 100 mile an hour and you're still going, your body isn't telling you to push harder, it's telling you to stop. So the, the more that you rest, the more you will be able to do down the track. It's super important to switch off every now and then. And I'm, I'm telling you, no phone, no, none of that. This is not about, you know, scrolling through Facebook and then because it's stressful on Facebook and Instagram. There's a lot of dickheads on there. <laughs> so we don't want to go and get on there and piss ourselves off even more. We want to relax, do a meditation, do some breathing exercises or do nothing but rest because... And do not feel bad about it. This is you putting putting yourself first, putting your health first, and choosing to heal. Because if you don't, it's going to keep getting worse and worse and worse. And then, like, where are you going to go from there? It's, you don't want to add and add and add to what's already going on in your body. So the reason that you probably got sick in the first place is because you don't rest when your body is screaming at you to rest. I'm sure that's part of my pro was part of my problem. I never rested. I never did those things. I burnt the candle at both ends, and it made my life much harder. So drop it in the comments if it makes sense to you, and you know, go and have a lay down. Don't feel bad about it.